Flat Earth Proof 13, the International Space Station. The International Space Station, at an orbital height of over 300 kilometers, in the thermosphere, wait, the thermosphere? You mean where it is said to reach extreme temperatures due to the absorption of highly energized solar radiation? Because the International Space Station is comprised mostly of aluminum, the melting point of which is a mere 660 degrees Celsius, compared to the 2000 degrees Celsius said to exist in the thermosphere. NASA only digs their grave deeper when they then claim that the air molecules in the thermosphere are so sparse that the temperature can't even transfer to a thermometer, going so far as to say it actually feels cold in the thermosphere. Okay... Don't ask me how they were able to then measure the 2000 degrees Celsius in the first place. But then you ask me, how is the International Space Station electrically grounded? And you've stumped me. So we ask NASA, and their response is that the ISS is grounded by the very air surrounding it. Wait, you mean to tell me that air that's so sparse it won't even register the intense temperature of 2000 degrees Celsius onto a thermometer is able to maintain the electrical grounding of the entire space station? Since when does air ever discharge static? But before we get sucked down into absurdity, let's consider the velocity of Earth through space, and then take into consideration the innumerable amounts of not only meteors, but micrometeors, interstellar space dust, and floating debris, all traveling at comparable speeds, which should all pose a very real and constant threat, not only to the International Space Station, but to all the astronauts said to be on board. In fact, the sheer infinitude of undetectable micrometeors shooting through space from whichever haphazard impact like bullets should make every spacewalk a real life-threatening assignment. But every astronaut is always laughing about how much fun their jobs all are, whilst constantly inserting lame attempts to identify with viewers. They even go so far as to hairspraying their female astronauts' hair, making it look like anything but authentic weightlessness. The scenes where they are on harnesses are equally as laughable, as well as when turbulence is encountered on their outfitted zero-g planes, not to mention bubbles being caught on film during their spacewalks. Though there is a trackable image resembling the International Space Station as it is said to move across the sky, the image is strangely prismatic, resembling a hologram, and does not in fact look like an actual orbiting piece of machinery. Clearly, for the reasons already stated, the International Space Station cannot exist the way NASA claims. So investigate the subject for yourself, and ask questions.